In this video, I will explain you step by step information to understand operation of the three phase induction motor using programmable logic controller. We will start with the power diagram. In switchgear, three phase bus bar arrangements will be like this. Next, we have added three power fuses named as F1, F2, and F3. Then, we have added three pole power contactor named as C1. Overload relay is added in series to the power contactor named as OL. Finally, three phase induction motor is added in the circuit. Now, we will connect bus bar and fuses like this. From fuse outgoing terminals, we will connect cables to power contactor incoming terminals. Then from overload relay, we will extend cables up to the motor terminals. This circuit is called power diagram. Now, we will draw control diagram. Here, 110 volt AC supply is available. Neutral is extended up to the A2 terminal of the power contactor C1. Note, in any power contactor, A1 and A2 referred as the coil terminals. Now, we will connect phase up to the MCB. Then, we will connect phase to emergency push button from MCB outgoing terminal like this. We have to use overload relay NC contact because whenever motor gets overloaded, at that time, this contact will open and break the circuit. From overload relay NC contact, we will send supply to PLC. After PLC start command, supply will return and connect to A1 terminal of the power contactor. This diagram is called control circuit. Next, we will learn PLC circuit. Here, 24 volt DC is available in the terminals. This PLC consists of processor, 4 channel digital input module and 4 channel digital output module. To turn on PLC, we will connect 24 volt DC supply to all components like this. To start the motor from field, we will add start push button with normally open contact. To stop the motor from field, we will add stop push button with normally closed contact. 24 volt DC positive terminal is connected to start push button. After pressing start push button, NO contact will become NC and supply is connected to channel number 1 of the digital input module. Now, 24 volt DC positive terminal is connected to stop push button. A stop push button is a NC contact. Here, supply is continuously connected to channel number 2 of the digital input module. Next, to get the run feedback of motor in PLC, we will use power contactor, normally open contact. When power contactor energizes, this contact will become NC contact. Now, 24 volt DC positive terminal is connected to normally open contact of the power contactor. When power contactor actuates, then NO contact will become NC contact and 24 volt DC will flow to the channel number 3 of the digital input module. Now, we will add 24 volt DC relay with normally open contact. First, we will connect 24 volt DC negative terminal to the negative terminal of the relay like this. When PLC generate output from channel number 1 of the digital output module, 24 volt DC supply will connect to positive terminal of the relay. Now, just remember control circuit diagram in which I have shown PLC start command contacts. We have extended those contacts to this relay like this. Now, we will learn ladder logic design to start and stop the motor from PLC. First, we will add start push button contact in ladder logic program. Next, we will add stop push button contact in ladder logic program. Now, we have added relay as a output in logic. We will add run feedback contact in parallel to start contact in logic. To latch the output, we will use NO contact of the 24 volt DC relay output. This contact will become NC when output coil gets energized. Now, we will check all circuits coordination. Initially, three phase supply will flow from bus bar to power contactor incoming terminals only. It will not extend from power contactor because contactor coil is not energized. Now, we will press start push button and supply will reach input channel number 1. After supply reach to input channel number 1, NO contact status in ladder logic changes to NC contact. Here, channel number 2 has been already activated because we have used NC contact block in stop push button. So, soft power shown in the blue line extends up to the output and energize 24 volt DC relay. Now, supply from channel number 1 output module flows to the relay coil as shown 
and energize the relay. After energizing, contacts inside the relay will change like this and supply will flow further up to the power contactor coil in A1 terminal. Now, power contactor coil has been energized and three phase supply will flow to the motor and motor starts rotating. After energizing power contactor, NO contact in the power contactor status will change to NC contact. So, supply will flow to the channel number 3 of the digital input module. Now, in ladder logic, status of the run feedback has been changed to NC contact. Note, status of the 24 volt DC relay output also changed to NC contact because 24 volt DC relay output is in on condition. Now, we will release the start push button to check the continuous running of the motor. See here, after release of start push button, circuit has been latched like this. Now, we will press the stop push button to stop the motor. Channel number 2 will de-energize. The ladder logic status will become like this and output will be turned off. Now, we will release the stop push button and the circuit is ready to start again. In this way, three-phase motor can be operated using PLC.